This is a case of a patient with cardiomyopathy where the right heart catheterization uh, is being performed through the right IJ axis. As you can see, the right atrium is huge and the catheter is curling up in the right atrium. And this could be um, a problem. You don't want to push too much because the tip of the catheter may go into, as you can see here, um, into right atrial appendage and can perforate that. As you can see, uh, I'm using a technique where you are curling the catheter and then what you are doing is, is that deflating the balloon and as you deflate the balloon, the catheter falls. You see at the end, there is a drop in the catheter into the right ventricle. Once it's in the right ventricle, you can slightly advance it and then uh, put the balloon up <clears throat> and then advance it further. Um, this is a case where um, I was doing a right ventricular biopsy and to get a sheath in there, what I did was I put a wire through an arrow, seven French catheter. And again, as you can see, I did the same, same technique. There's a balloon inflated here. And as soon as it's deflated, it jumped into the right ventricle. There's a wide open TR, tricus regurgitation here. As you can see this bend here in the, uh, this defibrillator wire or the pacemaker wire that's where the annulus is. And that's how you find out where you know you need to go and go beyond. And once I had this, the wire was in the, I parked in the pulmonary artery and then I was able to get a sheath down and do the biopsy in this case. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll be happy to answer.